Hello and welcome to a new video about ADCs, Analog Digital Converters. Today we are going to talk about a variant of ADC which is very accurate and very fast. Right? We are talking about the Continuous Approximation ADC. It's working a little bit fancy, but well, the advantages, like I said, it's fast. Yeah. Not in all circumstances, but mostly. Well, the idea is that we do compare our input voltage we want to we want to digitize. Yeah. See here? Input voltage UI. This is the voltage we want to have. A value for eh? and we put this into a so-called differential amplifier so this amplifier is gaining the difference between plus and minus input so only the, the voltage difference between plus and minus so here we have a comparison eh? or a compensating voltage you see and if the compensating voltage and the UI input voltage is not the same, we will get an output here. And the output will be higher if the difference is higher. It will be positive if the difference is positive, it will be negative if the difference is negative. All right. Here we have then some control logic. What this control logic does Simply look at the output and tell if the output is zero. Okay? Tell if the output is zero. Then it means the control, uh, the compensating voltage and the input voltage are the same. This is what the control logic basically is. It's telling if it's the here. Yeah. This means here we have a UD delta voltage. This means ud equals zero. It's not exactly zero, of course, there's a little tolerance area, but it's little. And if we say, okay, ud is zero. This is the output of the control logic. Then we have direction logic. This logic always looking at it at UD and telling if it if it's currently positive or negative. Okay? The sign. This is all fed into a counter. So also here we have a counter value. Here's our counter. However, this counter cannot be up and down. So not only up, it's up and down. And here this is telling if the counter should count up or down. Yeah? So here we have up down signal from the direction logic. And here we have the signal. Okay, we are done. Because actually what the counter value is producing, here we have a digital analog converter. DAC, where the counter value is fed to, and the output of the DAC is actually the compensating voltage, all right? So here is now some sort of circle structure. So the counter will be counting up and down as long as UD is not zero or close to zero, and this will vary a the UC and if the UT is zero, UC will directly match UI and then I know this is correct. So whenever this tells me it's zero, the counter can stop counting. We again have somewhere a memory where we copy the current, the correct counter value then. The output of the memory is the digital value. Then 
and of course I might also have somewhere a display to display the digital value. Considering the fact that UI might not jump, but is a continuous voltage transformation from then, this will simply follow. And since we are starting at the last known value of UI, this, this new value will be found rather quick. That's it. Of course, again, we have an oscillator. This oscillator giving the ticks this counter is counting up or down. Yeah. And to make it even more fancy, we will also feed into our oscillator the current difference. And our oscillator is changing the frequency according to the difference. If it's high difference, the oscillator will yeah, really speed up. So we will have a fast approximation. And if the difference is already low, the oscillator will slow down so that we can slowly, slowly reach the correct, the really correct value then. So if we have high difference, we will approximate fast. If we have low difference, we will make it accurate. Continuous approximation ADC. On input voltages, which are somehow continuous, this is working pretty fast, pretty fast. Yeah. On, on uh, things where UI is already jumping from one value to another, then the, the advantage is almost gone. Then you can use other things we have already discussed. And yeah, it's, it depends a little bit on the input voltage. If it is worth the the more effort we have to put in to 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 benefit from this mm -hmm. continuous approximation next time we are talking about a voltage frequency converter mm -hmm. how this is working I'm discussing in the next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye